<laughs> Thank you much for Jordan first, because she's got to go to radio. Um, start with Maria and Cora. Jordan second one over Bandy. I know uh, these games get a little sketchy sometimes because of all the pressure, but the second win over Bandy this season, just what does that mean to y'all against your in-state rival? Um, it's always a good it's always a good feeling when we get a win. Um, but like we said, we take every game like one game at a time. So whoever's our next opponent, that's what we focus in on. And uh, like I'm just proud of everybody. Um, we had a great bounce back win the last game and uh, continue this. So the momentum is still moving in the right direction. So I'm proud of everybody. Cora, Jordan, there's a lot of um, gritty like diving on the floor plays with loose balls or rebounds, and obviously that's part of your guys' identity. Mm -hmm. But today, it especially seemed to you guys, how important are those kind of also plays across the whole team throughout the game? Yeah, we, we always want to win all the 50-50 balls. I mean, because it's hard, and we don't want to ever, like, it's the toughness, honestly. We don't, we don't want to be out tough, so I feel like, you know, we're going to dive on the floor. We're going to go for every loose ball because that's Tennessee basketball, and we take pride in that. Jordan, just like this team, you seem to only get better as the game goes on since your 12th double-double of the season. You know, what do you do to keep yourself, you know, going really hard throughout the game and not let yourself get tired? Um, I just let the game come to me, you know. Whatever the team needs me to do, that's what I'm going to do. Um, like, when I go out the game, I see how, like, the defense is, like, you know, shifting or, like, what's, what's you know, just taking in what's, like, going on the defense end. And then when I get back in the game, I just apply it to the game. Um, but I just, the game is slowed, slowed completely down for me. And um, my teammates are fine to me. And um, you know, I'm getting in the gym and knocking, knocking shots down. So. Yes, Anyone else for Jordan? All right, last one for Jordan for Maria. Jordan, the, the pink stuff, the headbands, the shirts, the socks, shoes, the uniforms, does that mean something to y'all to, to wear those? For this game, to wear the pink uniforms for this game. This special, this special wearing pink, you know. Coach told us like a story about it, and it just like really hit home. So you know, we always want to, we always want to win, but we really want to win the pink jerseys. We really want to win the pink jerseys <laughs> <laughs> for the cause. What was that story? Can you share? Okay. Okay, story. Yeah. You want to share it? <laughs> sure. <laughs> So um, Coach K, she said that she started at NC State and she um, started these the pink games because she had gotten breast cancer and she like fought it really hard and then um, these games bring a lot of awareness and uh, also there's really big don donations that come from these games too. So I mean it's just a really special game to bring awareness and then also giving back and um, putting money towards the cause and research. And it brings everybody together. All right, thank you. Uh, questions for anyone else? Bye, Ray, you finished the night with one point shy of a thousand <laughs> points. Uh, it looked like your night was over, and then you came back and finished the game. So first, were you going for it at the end, and then secondly, a little preemptively, what does it mean to you to be that close to Lamar? Um, yeah, she subbed me in, but um, it wasn't nothing that like I wanted to force or anything. If it came to me, um, I got it. But if not, you know, I'll get it next game. Um, I don't know. It's a. I feel like it's a milestone for me, like in this program, just being able to get to a thousand points. Um, just to see how far I've come from a uh, freshman year. So um, yeah, it's special to me. Cora, you both have provided such an offensive spark off the bench, and Brandon, you started some games there, and you're back to you know coming right off the bench. How do you guys feel like you kind of fit into those roles, and how does it work? You know, how's it working so well in your rotation right now? Uh, yeah, like you said, the rotation is really helping the rotation just with um, getting some sparks off the bench. Me and Sarah, we come in and try to bring as much energy as we can yeah. um, just by getting on the boards or being aggressive. So, yeah. And we just continue the play that's, you know, being played out there. And we just bring momentum ourselves and bring it to the team. And hopefully we'll just continue to be playing hard and stuff. So. Reese. Kelly Harper always preaches about out-rebounding your opponent to your how enthusiastic was she about that? Yeah. Um, yeah, she was. Uh, she was very proud of us to because I think they uh, might have outrebounded us last game, and so um, she kind of yeah, offensive boards last game. So she uh, made that a point that uh, we need to get on this game, and we try to always outrebound our um, opponents. So. We take a lot of pride in that. And we practice that a lot. So. Ray, another big performance off the bench. Uh, do you think this is the right role for you to be in right now, or would you like to jump back in the starting lineup, or do you think this is fitting for you right now? Um, 
I mean, I, I'm just doing whatever the team needs me to do. It's kind of not about what I want. It's more about what the team needs, so. This for either of you, but um, I know last time coming out of Nashville, you guys didn't feel great about the performance, and this definitely felt, felt like you know a little bit more solid. Um, how does it feel to see that improvement against you know the same team that you have on the court? I feel like it's really good for us to see how you know you play a team in, twice in the same season, and you just see you compare the two games and you see how well you did coming back, even though your first game wasn't the greatest, I guess you would say, but. I just feel like it's really good for us to show that, you know, if we really focus on those intangibles, then we're going to come out with a victory every time. And it's an in-state rival, so it's a pretty big game. You know, we had a lot of people here. So it was just really good for us to get that win under our belt. Maria? Sarah, 12 games in to the SEC season, this is a brutal conference. It's how are you and the other freshmen holding up right now with four games to go? We're doing good. Uh, we had to, you know, learn the physicality of it and the speed of it. But I think once we learned that, I mean, we were just smooth sailing now, and we're just letting the game come to us and just doing whatever. Being that energy that the team needs. Yeah, on they're and doing. The court. They're doing great. We're we're so proud of the the freshmen. I mean, they go out there. They don't, they don't play like freshmen. You know, um, they just bring so much spark to us, so much love to the team on and off the court. So. Jordan's not here, we'll call them freshmen. You know? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I also want to point out that we had how many, we had 16 assists today? 19. 19 assists today. So, I mean, that was some really great uh, work from our team. Yeah. Cora? You guys held Vanderbilt to 14 or fewer points all four quarters. What does a performance like that on the defensive end do for your guys' confidence, especially going into, you know, a kind of tough stretch to end the SEC play? I mean, like you said, we're going into like the the nitty gritty of the season. So I mean, all that matters, and it's when when you go down the line, it's the little stuff like that that's gonna win you games. So I mean, the more we can work on it and get better at that, the uh, better place we'll be in. Final question, Maria. Just for both of you, the pink uniforms, the pink pink stuff. What does that mean to both of you playing in this game? To me, it was. Kind of going off what Jordan said, just being able to honor just not those that were affected by it but have been affected and are going through it now, you know, bringing awareness to them and just showing how much we support them, that's pretty special to me because uh, I'm for people. Like, I love people. I want everybody to be good. And so I know they may be going through um, hardships and stuff, so I just want to be able to show my support, and I feel like we, did, we were able to do that today. I couldn't have said any better myself. <laughs> Sarah, um, were you kind of the player who made hustle plays, like, you know, that's that really part of the Tennessee identity, um, or is that kind of an adjustment that you really worked yourself into this season? No, that's actually, like, been who I've been as a player just throughout my whole career, ever since I was five. Like, I've always been diving on the floor for loose balls because I want those 50-50 balls. I don't want anybody else to get them but me. Well, unless it's my teammates, of course. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. So. <laughs>